you know, come to think of it, under construction. us destroying all of that is probably going to hurt them quite a bit. Um, because the Dusk and the League just woke up. And the Empire is one of the, one of the factions that they're going to be up against immediately. So if they just threw all of that at us... Hmm. What else is going on out here? Go all the way to Shardan. Jensar Sobils. I don't remember why I wanted him specifically. Oh, and I can't look because that's a special vibe right now. Who in the world is that? Amara Jedsilk. I have no idea what anything in her biography is referring to. Cool. A9 floating fortress. Okay. Well, looks like that executor hasn't really gone anywhere. You know, come to think of it, why in the world did they attack us? We have this giant stack with this giant station, plus the ground space weapon. Meanwhile, Denon is sitting over here with two dudes. Construction complete. Oh, it didn't actually pause. Why did, why does it keep doing that? Really annoying. But yeah, they're sitting there with basically nothing, and then there's this happening over here. Why did they attack us in the first place? They've been cut off. On my way. Okay, now it moved. Can't really go very far. I'm half tempted to actually try and engage it. Construction now that it has basically no support fleet. This would be tricky to take on, wouldn't it? Heavy counterpart to the standard ATST. Additional armor and heavier weapons. Hmm. Actually, uh, that reminds me. We really need to uh, rebuild our ground forces. Um, where is... That what we I think that's what Yeah. Um Hmm. I haven't used the V wings much. I think we should prioritize getting the basics though, first off. I think Mainly, we need infantry at the moment. We set up, we set up somewhere over here. Infantry, fast infantry production, didn't we? Did we not? Is it only further back? Not. Maybe it is supposed to be Druckenwell, and I just haven't finished it yet. Yeah, that, that sounds familiar. Um, still, we should probably get at least a couple of things. Oh, 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 artillery. We haven't used any artillery. Let's do that. And, um, 
seem to remember the last time we used these, it led to disaster, so maybe we don't. Get some extra AA, just, just to have it, in case we need it. Who are you? Command tier 5. Treaded Neutron Torch. With three storm cloud cars escorting. Okay, I don't... I don't... Huh. He's a moth. Two AV beam cannons, Crusher. So, he is primarily in a ground vehicle, but he can also command in space. Okay. Hmm. Is there a reason that they haven't attacked the Empire of the Hand? No. No, not really at all. So again I say, why in the world did they attack us? Well... Hang on a second. Oh, it didn't pause again. Stop doing that. I'm tempted to try and push our line up to Emberleen and Tyna. Problem is, those are not nearly as defensible. That also still leaves us open to Ubrickia. Oh, I just realized the tooltip is gone. Can I, can I, let's see, who, who was it we supported last time? It was you. All units created 15% faster. Zero's influence maxed. Interesting. We're not currently creating very many units, though. Where are those two meant to go? I don't remember. Is it you? You've already got two. He doesn't really need them all that much either, I don't feel. You've got six, plus six of the Nebulons, so probably not. You've got two. You make a bit more use of them. What about you? Yeah, I'll send them his way. It, it's been a little bit since I recorded and and actually like looked at I didn't pause again. What is this? What is this? Really? What is Artillery online. How it what I don't understand how that's happening. Anyway, yeah, it's been a little while since I've, like, looked through the fleets. What happened to the Bakura that was here? Did we lose that? I thought we only lost an Amana. Did I, did I move it already? I don't, I don't remember moving it. Maybe I did. Um, hmm. Cool. Yeah, I don't remember. Um. You actually have too many ships. Were we going to pull all of these out? I feel like last time he engaged stuff, it kind of went poorly with the MC-80s. But on the other hand, he is over fleet cap, so maybe...
because one thing I do remember is wanting to pull out more of the um, the heavy turbo lasers or just heavy weaponry generally because they've already got the bombers whereas this fleet doesn't have much in the way of heavy weaponry like there's a lot of mediums and then we moved this in there to fill more of the heavy And then, I think, you had too many of those. I think we'll do this. Yeah, that works. Hmm. There's also this. We have to do it on Mon Calamari, which means we're not going to be able to get a discount. Although, now that I think about it, the, uh, the research doesn't get a discount from people, does it? No. Completing this research option creates a Viscount prototype unit and enables the Viscount Star Destroyer. So, it does cost a lot, but it also gives you a unit. Which means that it's somewhat more useful than just doing the research. Because doing this research doesn't actually give you any units. It just unlocks stuff. Which is nice, but we kind of should be spending more of this money that we have coming in on actual ships to actually help. If we were to do that, this fleet would certainly be capable of, like, making some moves. Though again, it's gonna be hard to get out of here in a way that's safe and sensible. I wonder if we could eventually go through here to the mall. Is that a bad idea? I wonder what's going on over Honegger. Hmm. That's potentially something we could we could look into doing. Not necessarily soon, but I had kind of just been ignoring that that was a thing we could do. Maybe maybe I should put a little bit more thought into actually doing that. Because, hmm, Reporting. I'm not sure. Because we need we need a a direction that we can go in, right? And all of the directions down here seem really dangerous and questionable. Zinge is making some some progress. Where is that? There's Salagus. There's Cola. I guess that's probably retaking that from the Empire. Man, this whole area is such a mess. I feel like I feel like the AI needs some I don't know some some fine tuning I guess to get it to consolidate things a little bit better I think they just kind of make a mess of stuff a lot of the time but yeah Around here, let's see, we have we have this sort of direction here. I don't I don't particularly want to try and take and hold that planet. It is level two only. And only level two defenses. I mean I guess this isn't that much better, but it is actually better. 
and we are already dug in here. And there's only really one direction they can come from. At least until these guys... Which again, I, I don't actually know if they ever will wake up, but I don't particularly want to go this direction and risk ticking them off. But kind of just like we have this direction. I don't particularly want to go in that direction at the moment. Next, we kind of have this direction, which would be nice. I'd love to get Fondor, but it means we would need to push things up all over the place, all over here. I think that's that's the problem I'm running into here. In order to to um in order to expand in this direction it's tricky because there's a lot of areas like we take Fallus, then they can still attack us from from multiple directions. They can still attack Chardon. They can still attack Glomtho, and they can still attack Bothway. We don't have enough fleets to cover all of those all at the same time, which means that some of these planets are just going to have to be defenses only. Which is not ideal. Though on the other hand, I guess we've kind of got these guys just buffering us. They're not really in a position to be able to attack us. Unless we leave Glumtho. They will attack Glumtho. But we might be able to leave Chardon. That might be an option. But other than, other than this, like, because we can't just take Emberlene because they'll come from Umbrickia again and hit Bothaway just like they did the first time. At least, I think we've had an Emberlene. Either way, we could, we could move up and take Tyna. That would kind of just be for free. That wouldn't open an, um, open us up in any way. Hmm, maybe we do that. Do we have defenses on Glomp, though? No. Yeah, that might, that might be a thing. We've tried holding Tyna before, but now that we've got three fleets in this area, that'd be a lot easier. But the only other direction we have is up here. This is CSA. They don't seem inclined to try for Mintuin. At least for the moment. I think they've got bigger problems in this area. We could try for DeSevro and that wouldn't open us up to anything. I don't think Marcana is really all that interesting. It is kind of buffering us a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of feel like, for the moment at least, we need to focus more on setting up our planets a bit better. CSA has taken quite a few planets in the last few minutes here. I don't know why they seem to have just suddenly Construction complete. found the firepower necessary, but they do seem to have. Hmm. That would be a kind of a non-issue. That's, that's a bit of an issue. Um... You do have that home one. So you could 
you could handle an HB gun. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I kind of do want to do that, to be honest. Beginning construction. I am going to go ahead and invest in, in a... It, not HP gun. What are these called? Ion cannon. Yeah. This really only affects the both an assault cruiser. Hmm. I might hold off on that. Probably will get that at some point, but. At the moment, we're not really making that many of those because we don't... It, we're, to be honest, we're not making any ships. And we probably should be. I didn't pause. No, it did. Um, hmm. Hmm. I kind of almost feel like we're we're at the about that point where we should be starting up another fleet, but we don't have the command staff to to be able to do that. I don't particularly like the idea of a fleet without a commander. Oh, you're still over capacity. Um You're a bit under capacity. I guess... Um... Let's go with a couple of these for now. Well, it, I guess... Mm hmm. All of the fleets are approximately at fleet cap. Except for the one up in the north, which... If we're going to put anything into that fleet, I, I think we do prioritize the, um, where is it? The Viscount prototype. Maybe we hold on to, like, 10,000 credits per week, per month, per cycle, whatever it is. I guess we can't do quite that many. Okay, let's say 5,000 or so. And we, we start headed in that direction towards being able to do that. Beginning construction. We do technically have you. When can we upgrade this? 19 ABY? Okay, we're not there yet. You do actually have a command here. We could have you take command of a fleet. I wonder, is it possible to get him into any other kind of ship? It doesn't say it there, but... Hmm. Luke has a command tier in space, to, too, doesn't he? Yeah, same. So, I mean, I guess we could technically, theoretically do that. I don't know that I want to, necessarily. Of course, there's also the question of what kind of fleet would we make anyway, because we've kind of got it covered. Got the carrier fleet, the sort of mid-level fleet. Construction complete. Small. And then big stuff. Hmm. Empire retook Corellia. Again. And it didn't pause. Oh, it did pause. Ah. Okay, what, whatever. I think Ulrich Tog, the dude who was over here with the battle cruiser, isn't it? Yeah, I think that was him. Uh, I think 
They must have gotten attacked by something. What have you got? Imperial one. Strange that just the one dude would have gotten taken out and nobody else. What happened? I didn't notice a battle take place. Hmm. I wonder if that was some kind of story event that I'm just not familiar with. Something that just kills him. Um. New Republic. We are at 10% military strength. Empire is at 27%, even with all those ships we destroyed. Hasn't been very long, either. That's concerning. Um, but... I think we are going to go ahead and take Tyna back. Um, you need... you need... Pathfinder. Let's do that. I kind of want to wait until we get this finished building. building under construction. Construction complete. But that might be too late. Oh, hello. Okay. Maldrude is moving. I... Hmm. I, I, I like them being a buffer between us and the Empire, but I also want to have Tyna, because it's more defensible than Glomtho. Only we had enough to push up to Denon and Jindine. And Duro. Mondor as well. It would leave us open on the right flank completely. And we've already seen that that doesn't end well. Hmm. Moving into position. On the other hand, I really don't like just sitting here waiting for them to build up another gigantic doom stack to hit us with, so... Kinda need to do something. Something we could do is just roll through these two planets, crush them, and then leave. It wouldn't do much, but it would do something. Okay. Okay. You know what? They're just gonna sit there looking at us like that. We're just gonna go ahead for it. The one thing we can easily do that doesn't leave us open to any more attacks anywhere else. Tactical battle imminent. Building started. Enemy forces ahead. Since they've just got the one ship, I wonder if we can get them to retreat. Choose your reinforcements. I would much prefer that over actually fighting this. Simply because, again, I do like the, um... Maldrud being here to offer, um, a buffer against... I'm gonna wait until they actually fire that cannon. Moving. Oh, they did fire. It just didn't say anything. Cool. That's that's always nice. That's always... Hmm. Not the slightest bit frustrating at all. No, no, sir. A couple of these. We don't need too much. Then these guys. Go ahead and pull up over the MC. Hopefully we can repair it. All ahead. Oh, we have room for everything, Moving right. On my way. right away. For some reason, Getting I was out. thinking this fleet was All still out. over capacity. At your command. Your orders, sir? 
Go. Go away. Go r r run. Flee. We don't have an interdictor. Probably should get an interdictor. Well, we don't want to just stand around and let them pelt us with the HV gun, so let's go break some stuff, I guess. Sure would be nice if we had some, like, repair capabilities, wouldn't it? Why wing squadron reporting? They have a decent bit of anti-fighter. I don't want to just charge in with these guys, but... I should be there yes, any sir. moment now. Heavy cruiser standing by. Ready for your orders. Hold on. Reporting for duty. Oh. Yes, sir. Awaiting your orders. Sashim Wait, what? Cruiser reporting. Yes, Why sir. weren't you part of... Okay. Uh, stop, 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 stop. That's that's actually a lot of damage that thing has. This is this is not stopping. This is not what you're doing. What you're doing is not stopping. Is the repair just not not happening this time? I guess we just don't get repair. Okay. Probably gonna lose that dreadnought. Somebody could break the big guns. I guess it's mostly mediums. Oh no, it's all mediums except for a couple of lights. You guys are kind of actually pretty good at handling that kind of thing, aren't you? Right? Okay, well, so much for preserving that to let it go and attack stuff. Why are we not hearing the firing sound effect from that thing? That's really annoying. We didn't lose anything, did we? Thought our, I thought this fleet was 290-something. No, I guess it is 281. Okay. Okay, it's this one that's 290-something. Whatever. Okay, let's do this quickly so they don't have a chance to say anything about it.
Construction complete. Requesting backup. Destination acknowledged. Heading out. Probably could have had the ground forces moving a little bit sooner, to be honest. Construction complete. Oh, I just realized these aren't the regular infantry that we used to have. These are defense troopers. Invasion commencing. When did that happen, I wonder? I wasn't really paying attention to the infantry for a while. Hmm. Choose your reinforcements. I understand. Let's use some of our new artillery. Of course, I I noticed that it there's there's a shield directly after I land that. Okay, well. Unit capacity. Yes. I'll be there. I understand. Yes, engines primed. Go ahead and I shoot guess, whatever's out there. I don't know. This looks like this is probably not going to be an especially useful structure over here. Ah. We've secured a build pad. Keep trying to scroll the map with right click. That's not how you do it in this game. Course plotted. We've secured a build pad. We've located the enemy. Unit capacity. We've captured an abandoned heavy vehicle factory. We've secured an abandoned sensor array. Swamp speeder ready. Heavy vehicle factory. Swamp speeder reporting. Swamp speeder. Ready. Right. Got it. Right. Okay. Sure. Yes, Commander. I think two more volleys of that. Ow. Crying out loud, I would actually like to use these. Did I not? Order two artilleries. I thought I ordered two. Give me the tuck. T four B mobile. Reporting. I'm gonna have to check the footage because I'm pretty sure I wanted two of them. Always well, ready, there goes sir. that. Set. I'll follow your lead. Are you in range of that other one? Ready. No. Torpedoes away. I don't feel any particularly inclination to try and, um, oh, you don't automatically just get into range, really? Okay. Moving into that area, sir. I thought it did. Enemy targeted. Oh, well, whatever. What is this structure over here? Ooh, that could be interesting. I know you can get some pretty heavy stuff out of that. Stay close to me. Occasionally. You'll find I'm full of surprises. Let's go see. I'm here. Let me help you. Oh. That's the hero. Arndel Loth served a two-year tour under Veers. Bombing available. Is bombing run available? Yes. Um. Hmm. Do I want to bombing run? I don't know. Not really. Roger that. Base is under attack. D2B over. Let's just let's just hit him with the heavy stuff. Oh, that's boring. 
Oh well, something to distract them. Feel like we should go ahead and take this. I don't want to go in too far though, is the thing. Just trying to keep them from charging in too far too fast. They like to do that. What in the world is that thing? Oh, that's an ATRT. Okay. I'm used to them being in squads. From Fall of the Republic. Roger that. I appreciate that you are contributing technically, but that's actually not all that helpful. I'd like you to blow that up. Initiating ground assault. Reporting. Yes, sir. Target acquired. We're right behind you. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Form up. Torpedoes on I'm with you. Right. We've lost a build pad. Okay, we can move forward. Maybe not you. Oh, that is actually AV. Didn't seem like it was doing that much damage to this thing, so I didn't think it was. Is the artillery not firing? Yes, it is. I'm here. You're overconfident in your weakness. T4P ready. Ready. Heading out. All right. Where? Fall out. Seems like we're good. Probably lost that infantry. Oh. 